Am I strong? I gotta give it a go, yeah. I gotta grind, working for money. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Roscoe from I Love Driving Slow. Uh, today, I did, before my birthday, dinner and exchange with some homies, as y'all can see here. All different guys from the Tampa area, and they're all doing something special to, you know, really uplift their community. So I'm going to ask them a bunch of questions. What we're aiming to do is like a cafeteria, like lunchroom cafeteria kind of thing. And uh, I'm going to help introduce some of these guys so that way it's not as awkward. Uh, <laughs> we got the Marcus. This guy has a K-Swap Honda Odyssey that's all-wheel drive. Uh, it's coming coming to the streets very soon. Almost all-wheel drive, but we're working on it. <laughs> it's yeah. pretty much there, man. It's pretty much there. Um, he's also my barber. So what's cool about him is that normally when you sit in the barber chair, you talk about life and a lot of other stuff. But I could talk about life and a lot of other stuff, including cars. So I think it's pretty awesome. And I've known him for many years. So that's DeMarcus. Mm -hmm. To my left, we got Josh. Uh, Josh, I've known Josh for many years as well. Um, Long time. Goes out to car shows. Uh, you know, avid enthusiast. He has an M4. He does a lot of raffles, so we're going to ask him a lot of questions about raffles. <laughs> right, I knew you were throw it in there. Um, to my right, the most hated, now I'm joking. Um, <laughs> this is Kelvin, Tampa's finest, um, you know, just doing big things in Tampa, hosting events in every inch of the city. I'm like, bro, leave enough space for me, bro. Um, cool guy, Kelvin. Um, to my, which, which side is this, left? Okay, to my left, we have Aleko. If you're on Instagram, like every 10 photos we post you'll see one of his photos he does some pretty ill photos um very good color he's he's amazing check him out aleko he's also a car enthusiast m3 so we see three and then four right and then to my right he got davy it's not devy damn it it's davy <laughs> right right Dave. so this guy there's a motorcycle. We're in Ebor, by the way. We're in Ebor. Thank you to Zydeco. They blessed us with this location. Uh, but yeah, we're in Ebor. Uh, getting ready for summer vibes. But anyways, Davey. This guy, uh, if you have an FA, FG, uh, DC5, right? This guy is just doing it all, man. Like, he's making AC tuck kits. Not, not to say that they've never been made before, but he's doing it in such a creative way and really putting light to the Florida area. Um, and I just think that it's it's awesome personally. I wish I still had my FG because I would have an AC tuck kit to be honest with you, bro I'm kind of mad that you came up with them after I sold my car <laughs> I'm, I'm hurt. All right, and then last but definitely not least you have me. No I'm joking. We have soon <laughs> This guy I think it was like a year ago or something like that. I figured out his name is actually Sohn like s-o-n-e get it s1 Got the owner of S1 built here. This guy is all wheel drive in the world. Right, we all figured that so, out. With you, dog. I, yeah. Yo, <laughs> right. the Everybody brand is I love driving slow, real. but I'm not slow. Okay? I'm pretty sure the people but watching you figured that the out slow too. Part now. Nah. <laughs> double, double underline. But yeah, man, I, I got the homies with me here today, man, and I just wanted to really shed some light to the Tampa area and just ask questions, have an open forum, and uh, you know, just showcase what everybody's doing. So I guess let's just kick it off. Like, what's new? What's new? What's new in the car community? What's everybody doing? Everybody trying drive. to go all wheel drive. Yeah. All wheel drive? All wheel drive. Son. That's what I'm building. All wheel drive? That's the new one. That's, that's, that's the new one. No. Everybody no. on this side. No. So, right so, so, so wait, so front wheel drive is not fast no more? No. It is. It can still, be. It's still competitive, but okay. <laughs> the cool thing is the all wheel drive. Now. Okay, so wait, so okay. you just get an all wheel drive kit and you're automatically fast? That's it. That's, Whoa, that's, what that's, that's what people think. That's what people think. You pull <laughs> up. <laughs> automatic. Oh, Honda. That's it. Oh, wait. Nobody wants to race you. Bro. Wait. Automatic all wheel drive. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. <laughs> so you go to the Bradenton track. <laughs> that's what you do. Bradenton track. Yeah. Front wheel drive is. Nah, bro. Front wheel drive yeah, is definitely making noise. Best. And uh, these guys are dialing in their transmissions and just timing. Like they're just doing a lot of stuff with tuning. Uh, to get fast. As far as like FO2K, we went out to that, saw a lot of cool stuff. Insane. But uh, we're not going to sit here and act like all the drive is not a big thing. So I think when we talk about that, you know, you got guys with the Beamers that are a little scared now because the Hondas, you know, they're, Ooh. yo, oh. the Hondas is doing things. <laughs> uh -oh. So, I mean, what, what's new with you guys? Like, what's new? What's, what's new with these events, like these COVID events? Like, I call it COVID season because it's like, 
and, and it's, it's COVID, COVID season. season. Right. So it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't really gone to much. I went to FL2K. Uh, this weekend, I'm going to be going to Swerve. We'll be so, there. like, what have events been like? Can y'all give me a little bit of insight? It's on been that? slow, but the pickup lately has been massive. Like, I think now, like, he obviously runs Reeves, okay. the Reeves Motorsports meets. Wait, the, the, the gathering. Uh, gathering, you yep. do that? Yeah, really. yeah, so he sets it up, but lately the last two yeah. Yeah. Oh, have man. been way more packed yeah, than had, like, all the other ones have been almost like combined. Out. Wow. Like, like wow. what, 30 minutes before it even actually starts, the parking lot's packed already. So, yeah, we wow. start at 7 mm -hmm. in the morning. People are there at 6 a.m. Yeah. yeah. Bro, I've been cutting so, like, I'm, still, I'm still setting up. Trying to go to work. Yeah, yeah, no, I need the donuts, though. Yeah, yeah. Bro, donuts if I drink coffee, there ain't going to be no car coffee. I don't even need no coffee, bro. I cannot wake up. Carlos like, I'm out, bro. I'm out. Yo, I'm going to make it one day. So, real quick. So, with that said, I mean, I'm going to ask Kelvin here because what's crazy is, like, Right when I was on the verge of canceling my event, I remember talking to you. Yeah. And you're like, bro, I don't know what we're going to do. And I'm <laughs> like, I don't, I'm like, yo, this is crazy. So then literally, like, not even like a week later, I'm like, oh, shoot, he's still going to do it when yeah. you did it in the mall, we which it, mall. it was brilliant because in the mall, it leaves enough space. Outside and space. You know? So tell me about that. What was that experience like? Uh, it was a great experience. Well, first, it was our first mall show ever. Mm -hmm. And so okay. the mall let us display a couple cars just to call attention mm -hmm. to people for a week long in the mall. Okay. And then the show was actually the parking garage, which was one level below the top one, mm -hmm. which was open. And, you know, people still have their mask and whatnot, but it was an amazing turnout. Yo. Believe me. Yo. What? No, that like, for and, real. And yo, you can definitely pass this one if you don't want to answer it. So I posted, hit me, hit me. I, I posted one of your photos from that event, right? <laughs> oh my God, I'll pass, I'll pass. I'll pass. How's the weather? How's the weather? How's the weather on this, bro? Yo, so Aleko, let me ask you this, dog. So I posted one of your photos that you worked so hard to take, <laughs> right? On our Instagram, and I don't tag you. Is that war? Is that, is that a flag for war? It's not war, it's just... Come it's, on, bro, you didn't tag me. It feels unappreciated. No, it's because you tag need to show owner. respect to the photographer right. and to the owner and to the model if there's a model involved. Okay, so two things. Because you're an important page. I am? Yes. Oh, shit, you, you are. You are. Because you're, because you're an important page. So when, when a big page like you uh -huh. tags, right, right, right. you know, he posts our to, photo, up, to, right. it's like an opportunity understood, for us to be understood. seen by the world. Yeah. Business wow. the business. For everyone that follows you. Right. So what do you do to someone that doesn't yeah. understand business, that concept? Well. How do you... You just respectfully you? tell them, hey, please Some tag me in the photo. Respectfully. Bro, they, they yeah, business. please tag me in the photo. Uh-huh. Tag the model. This is the model. This is the owner of the car. Uh -huh. And I took the photo. So, so I, I guess my issue with that is, like, why couldn't you just DM me? Yo, dog, you know, you, you posted the photo. Here's the information. Because let's be real. Half these people with their Instagrams, Don't. it's like Knight Rider underscore <laughs> Pontiac underscore 86. Yeah. Like, bro, I'm not going to memorize that. You know what I'm saying? No, it's because if you went to, let's say, my page to grab the photo yeah. off of, right? Yeah. You saw all that information. You saw the all information yeah, you know there. You can't right. copy and paste on Instagram, right? So you, someone you like can. me that forgets you like can. the You can. You, you can. can. You can. Cyber. You got to open in Safari and then copy and paste. All right, well, yo, yeah. after this, y'all have can. to put me on game. Because I hate <laughs> it. Well, you can get all the hashtags, we'll too. You, you get all the hashtags, I, too. I, I, yo, or I before that. you post the photo, mm -hmm. message the person and say, hey, like, message me. Yeah. Hey, who's the... You know who's the owner, who's the model, yeah. and then I'll give you all the information. Because then oh, I can go on my phone. That's business. That's business. Yeah. I'm thinking as a regular person yeah, just sitting yeah, at the house. Yeah, yeah. yeah so a lot you of people just screenshot but and he, repost he it. He and got never more look. of um, he got more. It's, it's more responsibility you being in business to repost right. this stuff. Yes, okay. because yes. you will be paying his dues to yeah. whatever work all he right. did. Okay. Yeah. You know you're not doing it and it shows I'm that thinking you're that's not. Like, so it's like when you repost my photo, it's an honor that you're posting my photo okay. because you're an, a great page, uh, right? So if you don't tag me, then it's like, why'd you post my photo? I can, I can see that. I, now I can you're posting my leverage. photo because you like the photo, so, but you're not showing me the respect. So let me ask so. you another question, and anybody can answer this. So low key or clout, what, what are you after? I mean, in the end of the day, everyone wants to grow, okay. right? In the end of the day, everyone wants to grow. So you're for clout? No, it's not really just okay. for cloud, but it's like... I think clouds have extra energy to be seen. Yeah, like, you stand out enough to yeah. be seen or stand out extra to be seen. should speak for itself? Um, or do you think that we should do work that everyone can see and, you know, all in all, it just makes the world go around? Mm. It's like right. a mix. Yeah, it's like, it's like a mix almost. Yeah, it's, kind of, yeah. Yeah. it's like a little bit of a mix. I mean, you, that's what social media is for. You got yeah, to be seen. The whole point but of social media. And yeah. the you get to that point that you're pushing too much okay. so to then, be seen on something. So then why, you know, you got work wheels, right, on them four. Yeah. So if I went out and bought the same wheels as you, like, why is that not okay? 
Well, Fact I mean, they're discontinued, so I mean, good luck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, of course. Oh, but you, you get what I'm going like, yeah. so, Remember we talked about the T37s yeah, yeah. in the yeah, shop. Yeah, so like, what's, what's the issue with multiple enthusiasts rocking the same wheel? Like, what's wrong with that? I don't see any problems. But that's yeah, like I mean, asking no, a woman, no. why can they wear the same purse? You know, I mean, that's the, the thing. Those are wheels. Right. That's different. I think I that's the on the minimal pair, yeah. side. But yeah. if you copy, you know, like, kids' funny. color wheels, yeah. I, I, all that stuff, right. then it's, like, another thing. Let me go to the right. So, so and, and, and forgive me, because, like, I made the statement low-key over clout. Because okay. I highly believe that if you do something with good purpose and it resonates well, the clout comes. Like, you don't have to go after it. There you go. You will. So, I think that leads into the next thing about, like, doing the same thing like we're talking about with the wheels. So like, for example, you know, one of her, one of my teammates, uh, Slim, mm -hmm. right? And once again, you know, you can check the weather if you have to. But like, <laughs> most people would assume that, oh, yo, he copied Slim, da 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 da, -da. Yep. But my question for that is, okay, if you see something that works, yep. right? And you didn't have to I do personally don't people. see it, it can, bills can look similar, but maybe sometimes they get inspired by somebody else. Exactly. It happens, you know? Like, but I mean, it, it, I can see why people would say certain things, something like that. Correct. But maybe that person inspired you to correct. follow kind of their steps. So, so let me tell you this. In a business aspect, correct. so. Now that's, that's different. Yeah, no, but. Now that's this. different. No, 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 not, not that. Yeah. This is where I'm going with this. Correct. So if I have on S1 built stuff on yeah. my car and the next man wants S1 built stuff, right? Yo, why are you gonna all-wheel drive your car just like me, bro? You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's not the same thing as wheels, but still, yeah. bro, any, I, I think anybody that, that say that you don't need to be around them, dog. Yeah. yeah. At the end of the day. No, anybody but the thing is, we that. we have younger ones that make that mistake every day. And the thing is, I wanna I want them to understand that there's really nothing new. Like right. all the stuff that we're doing has been done before. Right. Oh yeah. yeah. There's only so many parts. You can all we're get doing too. is polishing right. a turd. Yeah. It's all turn. The next yeah. person. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so it's all turn. I think with that, I'll also ask. Um, you know, we got a couple guys here that have kids, you know, as we're trying to really inspire the younger generation, you know, I don't have kids yet, you know what I'm saying? But it takes some of mine. I, I want to know, like, <laughs> how does that, how does that affect you when it comes to a building, like owning a business? You know, I want to ask a lot of business oriented questions here tonight, but how does that affect you? When you got kids involved and you got a business, you, I don't know how to explain it, bro. All I'm saying is when you got kids, dog, like a, a like a, a dog know how to take care of a kid, you get what I'm saying? When you have a kid, bro, it's just like instant. You get what I'm saying? It instant. just turned on yeah. something that you ain't really had in you before. Mm -hmm. So it's hard for me to put it in words. Got you. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because you kind of got to do it, and you got to look in their eyes to realize how hard you're going to be working when you're looking at their eyes and, and yeah. you're actually dealing with them and stuff. You get what I'm saying? I totally hear that, man. I mean, like, for example, like, I do car shows, as y'all know, right. and I can't really figure out kids in that equation <laughs> because there's just so much to do. Like, there you're you literally doing so much. Go how do you handle that? Oh, man, how do I I really want to know it? that, bro. <laughs> I, how many, wait, how many kids, if you don't mind, how many kids? We have four and one on the way, so five. Wow. Great. Oh, yeah. Oof. So. Great. When we're hosting shows, like you'll see my kids running around right. <laughs> everywhere. You'll see them running around. Usually I have one or two designated folks to watch after my kids. Uh -huh. If my wife and I walk away, if one of us do happen to walk away, yeah. there's always somebody keeping an eye. But how is it? You're definitely not 100%. Uh, how can I say? Your focus is not 100% on the event because you have your kids there. Gotcha. But you already prepped the show, and you promoted the show, and you have a team that backs you up. That just in case you're not 100 percent there, your kids are. Your you're team already, is already taken yeah. care you're of. You already done acquired them quick and yeah. kids into so the equation. It's so already. You gotta, right. so you gotta have a team for the team. Yeah, you already done playing for the There's kids. There's a team for the so team. Yeah. Make that work, right. Together. I gotta ask the OG. Y'all ain't got kids. I, I have to ask the OG. No kids. No kids. How, how do you do it, man? No like right. I know over the years, but. I know prior you had kids prior to that's when built, like yeah. as far as the uh, all the drive stuff. So I got children. You got kids? You got kids? I mean, a little dude. <laughs> First of all, I got kids Hated. older than you guys. Oh my wow. God. There you go. You got kids? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Are, my, are they all wheel drive? All wheel drive. Of course. <laughs> 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 they're all wheel drive. What an application they have. So, so like, you know, like, what advice do you have? Hey, daddy. You dropped it off. You know, having kids and still being successful and not letting it, like, you know, my wife tells me all the time, she's like, hey, when you have kids, think about Winterfest, bro, you know? 
Like, no, I think it's it, very like for me, it's a little bit easy because I always tell my kids and all that, do what you like. Okay. Do what you like. Don't go after chasing after money. Because okay. if you do what you like, oh, yeah. the money's going to come. Oh, I tell yeah. guys all the time, Being a good these guys right. are chasing, you know, but at the end of the day, yeah. all you're doing is work, 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 work. You know, if you do what you like, you're actually yeah, you having fun doing fun. it. Yeah. Yeah, so totally you, my kids might not even ever get into this kind of stuff, but, you know. Um, I think my wife might agree with you because I, I told my wife, like, I want to have kids so they can help me at the events. Yeah. And she's like, what if they don't like cars? Exactly. You know, and I was yeah. just like, well, they better like cars. You said they still gonna put up these tents, though. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Exactly. Be but there's, there's other mm-hmm. stuff you can, when you get kids, there's other stuff. If you have an event, bro, there's yeah. other lessons for kids to learn besides liking cars. Gotcha. Yeah, the yeah, handling yeah. business. The business side, yeah. Right, yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. They're making it work. They're doing the planning. They're seeing people all skills. that. Yeah. Right, there you go. That's big, that's that big. Sense. So, I gotta ask this question. Um, so, for anyone that's watching this, that want to be in a position, a business owner, um, a car enthusiast with a nice car, um, a photographer, uh, any of those things. Like, what type of advice would you need for them? What, would, what type of advice? Like, like, get it, like, like starting advice. Because you know, when you start out, that's the hardest part. That's when you typically might want to give up. Yeah. Because things don't go the way you want it to go. But well, that's when you're that. learning, though. That's <laughs> why they say the no. juice is worth the, the squeeze, basically. Well, it's not just that. Yep. This, well, that's what, you that's, that's what I was yeah. told when I started. Well, I, this uh, master sergeant told me I was in the Army because I told him about my idea and all that before I got out. He's like, look, do it. Because if you keep sitting on it, mm-hmm. that my idea might never go anywhere. But if you do it now and it fails, you got something else to do it. But if you're going to keep keep wandering this and that, you're never going to go do something else. And and even like what, what what I was doing, you know, before, you know, working on cars, doing conversion, all that, things has just changed because it went from here to here to here to here. So and steps. I'm, yeah, I exactly. got a, I got a question for him. Yeah. Okay. I've been to your shop before you were I don't want to say before you were S one. Yeah. I've been to your shop before <laughs> it was <laughs> what, <laughs> what S one is now. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. get what I'm saying? Yeah. What was what was the transition from Working on cars and making them clean to really jumping into the, um, the like, bro, there's, when it comes to all wheel drive, bro, there's no other word that can't come out your mouth besides no. S1. You can say that, all the drive what stuff? Was that tr- what was that, like, uh, what, what, what was that, you? like, yeah, like, what made you just be like, this Real is quick, just Before you show. answer that, I gotta tell you, the number one thing I learned about this guy when I first met him was all the right hand drive cars. Like, we cannot ignore that. Yep. Right. Before he was okay. all-wheel drive zone, which right. is what everything. Right. No, right. All-wheel <laughs> drive zone. He was right-hand drive zone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And right-hand oh, drive my lane. Yeah, yeah. Both you of them. You know what I'm saying? He messed me up when he was going to do the invisible motor mounts. Bro. When I went over there. Right. Right. Okay, so now you see Ow. what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, go, I'm sorry. I'm, I had to, hey. No, you're good. Sorry. But sorry. What, what was that? <laughs> well, before, you know, like I said, it was more concentrated doing conversions and all that. Right. But, you know, health and all that got me um, thinking, like, because I always want to do manufacturing. I want to make parts. I knew right. that's why I always wanted to do. Right. Like, okay. But, you know, broke and all that and helping people out. And that's, I guess, I'm not going to say the downfall and all that, but it took me longer because when I used to do stuff with people. Right. If I charge full price, right. I would have been there 10 years ago. But I just never. I understand. So, I understand. Um, yeah. So, but I think when I actually got sick and I stopped doing that, I kind of like, well, you know what? It made me stop back. Right. Now I'm not doing people's car. Right. Then I came back and said, you know what? Let's go, uh, let's put everything in doing what I really, really want to do, which is manufacturing. And that's how the whole thing got, got started. So. Right. so now you get your money for sure because it's manufacturing. You exactly. Ain't, you ain't selling the service. This is what I always say. Like, this is what I always preach. Okay. okay. Do you want to, there's, there's a thing what I call your um, your rewards, right. uh, the rewards and the uh, what you call it um, the effort, effort and rewards. Before my effort was up here, my reward was down here. So now I'm I'm trying to get to like okay right. now to the point where the effort is a little low, but the right. rewards. But when you greater. get there, bro, you're gonna take off way more. Seriously, uh, I feel uh, like once you get there where it's even. Then they give you more room to, you don't know what you're going to be doing there. Yeah. Right. No, it's. That's big. That's awesome. I think um, being 
being more like being honest with people, you know, like not blowing people off and stuff like that has really helped us out and even helping people out because I always preach this because it's always, you know, when we do things, people want something in return. That's just human yep. nature. That's hey, bro, right. let me in your but show, bro. Let me just park, bro. bro exactly. I'll take care of you, bro, 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 bro. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. I, I don't believe in that. I believe, you know, like if you do something, something, it will come back to you sooner or later. Yeah. You might not. I'm, I'm more a patient kind of guy. You know, I'll, I'll journey, invest bro. in somebody in 20 years because, mm -hmm. you know, some people don't think it like that. And that's where I think a lot of business and stuff like that, that's, that's you know, like they might be successful for like that, that short period of time. Then they'll wonder like, wow, what happened to all the customers? What happened this and that? Because hey, if someone treats them someone else better, mm -hmm. you always, no matter Customer what. Service always yeah. Yeah. Oh, quick question. You good? Were you ever in California, bro? What's that? Were you ever in California? I grew, I grew up here. Okay. Yeah, because okay. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. But you just made me feel like, dog, I'm just, I'm <laughs> there. You get what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. The, the, yeah. the ocean spray vibes. Yeah. 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 The ocean spray. Yeah. You literally got one of the best ones out of Cali, bro. Right, that's all I'm saying. Yo, you, you bring that, you're bringing that over here. That's you know it. That's, that's it. it. That's it. That's all I was trying to say. It's vibes transferring over to everybody. Yeah, man, because like, I was telling these guys before we did this, like, you know, if you needed certain parts, like you gotta go to Cali. I don't really know how it is for Euro guys, but like I go to Aleko. Okay. Where? Just, I just go to him. <laughs> no, for but parts. you know what I'm saying. Like as yeah. far as like yeah, no, any part, like, you get a wheels, yeah. any part, like you literally have to go to Cali or wait like three weeks or whatever it is for shipping. So to know that we got this guy and this guy that are both manufacturing parts oh, cool. here in Tampa and Florida in general, like. It, it's amazing. I actually think it's 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 worth doing this, like to show you guys, like you know, right here in Tampa, you don't have to wait for Cali. You know, you can literally just contact one of these guys and get something done. Yeah. All wheel drive. He does all wheel drive R S X stuff. He does uh, AC tuck kits. You know, if you have a Honda, chances are he can help you figure it out. I got that's one haircuts of the, too. You need a haircut. Yeah, yeah, haircut. I got them haircuts for you. Photography. <laughs> you know, this guy even does raffles. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we're we're going to get to that. Yo, we're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. Yo, so, okay. Aleko, if you don't win. Yo, so, <laughs> real quick. So, Aleko. Uh, sorry, Aleko. Whoa. Aleko, quick question, bro. Okay. When it comes to photography in this day and age, what has Instagram do, uh, done for you? Has it made it easier or has it made it harder? to get clientele for question, automotive bro. photography. Honestly, it's made it way easier. Really? Uh, way easier. Because you take a picture of one person's car that everyone loves, right? And everyone sees your photo mm -hmm. and they're like, oh, I want shots done like that. Okay. So then I'll get DM'd. Oh, wow. Hey, what's your rate? How many photos do I get for that? This, that, mm -hmm. what location? And wow. honestly, it's really helped me how grow a lot. How do they tag them up with the model? How does that work out? <laughs> how do you how get does the, the car get with it the just model? Comes. So do you get the model? Do they opt so for it? it do you charge it them do more? you pay the model? It depends. So oh, that's a good question. Depends, do you pay the model? Depends on the model. So yeah. some models okay. are like, hey, I want to shoot with a car this weekend. And then I'll get someone that messages me and say, hey, you want to shoot this weekend? I'm like, wow, hey, do you want to shoot with this model? Like, and I'm like, boop, yeah, gotcha. put them together. Yeah. Or the car guy knows a model. Hey, can we use her? For my shoot, gotcha. I message her. He'll pay her. Then I'll do the. And I'll take the pictures. Nice. Then they he'll never pay did me. It with no big girls. How's the weather? You find one, I got you. I got you. Hey, so well, tell me what you need. I got you. You know, so I'll burn my truck. Just got a flat tire. So you know, I asked you that question because you see. I like to consider this like the grassroots era for me at least because like when I started ILDS we grew off of doing features on our website mm -hmm. so when we saw people doing features on Instagram we're like what the hell like one photo that's not a feature you know we would literally do like you know 12 to 20 photos sometimes with a you know elaborate write-up as far as everything that's done to the car and you know we'd ask, the, customer, we'd ask the, the owner you know why do you drive slow or whatever which no one drives slow clearly but you know we had our niche when I we did, did that Mm -hmm. And you think about a lot of the big pages that did that, like Can I Be, you know, we had us. Stance um, Nation. Stance Nation, just Stance. Um, I think Stance Nation is still doing features. It's still, yeah. But, it's one of the few that you know, still do it. To think about it, like, they might be the only ones doing it. Because, like, yeah. a lot of us have stopped. Because a lot of times setting that up was paying the photographer, 
you know, and, you know, finding the time with the owner, and a lot of owners, you should know this, it's like, if you want to get your car shot, like, be nice to the photographers. Like, a lot of these guys, like, oh, man, I got to work, and, like, and they rush you, and they never have time, and, you know, you're doing something good for them, you know? Or they don't want to pay. Trust yeah, me. Yeah, or they, they don't want to pay. Trust sure. me. When, <laughs> when the owner is paying for a shoot, yeah. They give you all the time in the world. Because they pay <laughs> for it. If they're the type they of person that yeah, doesn't yeah. want to pay for the shoot, yeah. that think their car is way too special to pay for a shoot yeah. or anything like that, then that's them. So I do mean, you, it is what it is. Do you see us going back to that era where websites like mine I love that. would be able to go I, back th in for that? That's what I used to. Like I would shoot for different companies gotcha. and do like full features like that. Gotcha. Versus just you know, uh, Instagram. A, Instagram. Like a three pack. But the, I might like, hit you up like after a three pack. This. So, I might have to, find so out your to me, that was amazing because it tells a story. Yes. About that build, about that car, about yes. that person. Correct. What brought him into the car scene? What, what made him build an RX-7 or what made him build whatever his car is, right? So, to me, that is what is like an essence of photography of cars. Mm -hmm. So you think it, these are more like virtual magazines now? Basically, because yeah. story of the build. look at all the different magazines I've shut down. I got some all the yeah, magazines under my bed. Look at all the big ones I got some that I've shut down. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna yeah, rich one day, dog. Yeah, man. Like, look uh, at Instagram, will literally shut down. Everything. Like, oh, as a photographer, yeah. as a photographer, everyone wants to reach. You know, like, oh, I want to shoot for Super Street. Yeah. Oh, I want to shoot for this. I want to shoot for yeah, that. Big. Right? Big. Everyone yeah. wants to shoot for all these big. But now, no one buys magazines anymore. Yeah, everything's on demand now. That's why. That's why IG picked up like that. And you see little four sets, five sets of photos, and they're like, that's it. Back they don't gotta put it on the side anymore. Back, back in the day, for you to see a car like that, you have to buy a magazine. Yeah, mm -hmm. but now they're transferring over to social media. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. They've been heavy on social media. It's yeah. the same thing. I mean, just like all the time, man, problem. everything is gonna transition so, from one thing to another. So, so real sad. quick, so a lot of us are business owners. I think everybody has a PayPal in here. Um, PayPal business. <laughs> um, so I'll ask this question: um, Has any, has anyone uh, paid for ads? What's your what's your like number one marketing uh, vice? What what works for you in social media or word of mouth? What, what works for you as far as advertising, photography, uh, your all-wheel drive stuff, your your uh, RSX stuff, your barbershop, or even uh, uh, any car uh, parts uh, yourself, uh, your events? What works for you? Me personally, I have to keep the Instagram alive. Mm -hmm. If I let it die for like a week or two, everything just it's dies hard down. To catch up, yeah. You kind of have to keep it active. I don't personally pay for nothing, just cause. Wow. No, just me. I just, I just have to keep on top of it. Gotcha. If you let it die, it's just, it's gonna collapse. I, with it. And by I, that you I mean agree. like just 100%. being, just being what relative, not post, posting, not just post. posting, I, I staying agree. consistent yeah. with the post. Being consistent yeah. with it. I got yeah. off it for six months. Yeah. And now. It just went. Big pause on that one. Yeah. I think a lot of people think that they can just get off and come back, and they're gonna come back stronger, but. It doesn't happen like that. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah, no, I think it. I think I asked that question mainly because, you know, we utilize Facebook. You know, that's one of our biggest platforms. Correct. And um, to be successful nowadays, like, you have to put your information, in my, in my opinion, in front of the right amount of people. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so to, be, to hear that, a lot of you guys are actually, you know, still successful and you're not doing that. Yeah. I just feel like it could possibly catapult you to the next level. So yeah. you might want to look into that. Well, like paying I, I, for, paying uh, for yeah, like yeah. just paying for. Um, yeah. I don't police know, me. I don't show nothing big, but mm -hmm. I have paid for like uh, Instagram or whatever. Okay. Just because, um, like, there's been times that I've had like events and stuff like that. Okay. But I will say that uh, it don't bear, it don't cost much. Yeah. If no, you were selling yeah. like the AC stuff or whatever, yeah, I, I promise you, like twelve dollars. Yeah. No, no, over I, I'm with that. One whole yeah. week or whatever yeah. would probably yeah. be worth it. Oh, I understand. Yeah. So on the photography side. Uh huh the way other photographers in the car community look at it is if you're paying for ads to promote your photography, it's not good enough. It's, you're only chasing clout. Mm, That's how that. they look at I it. I can see that too. I can see that. Yeah. How do you? Like you'll see people, at least I see, uh -huh. other photographers making fun of, basically, Bullying that's, that's online. Hating though, bro. Yeah. That's, that's hating. What, there's, like other there's photographers. There's actually bullying in the, the car community? There, there's, the oh, photography yeah. world, between yes. the photography yes. world? I mean, you gotta it's start, some, you gotta start it's somewhere. It's humans, bro. But that's but listen, the thing. Like, you gotta start somewhere, I did, and if that's I did the ads, it has to be. I did the ads thing once, Yeah. and I got so many likes on that photo. Mm -hmm. It blew up, and I was yeah. like, yo, this actually works. And then from that day on, I started noticing basically the bullying amongst photographers with posting your photo as an ad. Wow. Uh, I think it depends mean, what, what you do as far as a business too, because I noticed Probably before it was major, that, but the hashtags actually that's brought you yeah, more feedback and like people to actually pay to check out your stuff than paying an ad 
to bring people to your page or to bring people to your link. But like, I know the day, hashtags work like a lot. Heavy. I'm not paying for your work. It's your customers that are coming in. Yeah, you do what's right for your customers. Think about but it. That's the thing. I yeah. agree with you 100. percent And now the way the algorithm has changed, the hundred million times. Does anybody it's actually know how that shit works? It changed again. It's literally changed it like three times again. in the last two yeah. weeks. So to yeah. me, you have yeah. to continuously post Thank every day, every day, yeah. every day, every day. Every day. <laughs> If you yeah, fall before, off, you're gonna fall off. Before hard. you post off. at a certain time, like what, b between a certain time, and use certain hashtags, and it work. That doesn't work anymore. So yeah. let me ask y'all. So what's the what's the code now? What's the code? Tell us the code. <laughs> well, it's because IG is actually random now again. It went back to random on the timeline. Okay. okay. <laughs> nah. So let me ask you guys all this, and everybody can answer. Um, can y'all like stay off of social media for like a weekend? Can y'all like just completely disconnect oh, Facebook yeah. and Instagram and you. Twitter, all that for just one weekend? My whole can business is online. Nope. I can't. My I, whole business is online. Yeah. All four of them. I think you can tell my All four of mine are online. I think you need to tell my wife this. So. Maybe if I had another job that uh, if I didn't depend on that, yeah. Yeah, it could be different. But yeah. you yeah. Say it's you like, depend on no, but it's like, you get a lot of stuff Yeah, that's literally on myself. Literally, if that's like saying, don't go to work this whole week. Yeah. You're going to get a check? Nope. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Hey. So, Kelvin, let me ask you this. So like back in the day, and I'm not that old, so back in the day, it was only a couple years ago. <laughs> but back in the so. day, when yeah. when like not I would go to car midnight. shows, a lot of times it was flyers that, that like got you in. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Do you I still do told flyers? Told you about the next car show or something. Right. Yeah, exactly. You go to this. So one. This one. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna lie. Our first two or three shows, we did use flyers. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel that it did much. Okay. You know what really does? What you do and what I do, networking in person. You go to another show. Oh, yeah. 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 You walk it. You show yeah. up in person. You support another person. You support another business. You actually are there. Yeah. You know, you, you push the extra mile. And that's how you know people, believe it or not. I, that's, yeah. uh, that's probably how I know a lot of you guys here. Yeah. And you know, I see your cars. I like it. I take a picture. I share it. You saw. You followed. You came to my show. Yeah. Okay. It's all That's about the support. They share, in, they share it. Another person saw it. They're interested. Whether it's believe it or not, sometimes you get negative feedback. Hell, mm -hmm. Some, sometimes you get social negative media, feedback. Yeah, yeah. And even if you know it's what? negative Change or positive, it. I'm gonna tell you about those negative feedback. Don't yeah. feed into it. No, yeah, don't oh, feed you into know, it. If you feed into it, you, you just lost. I'll tell you, That's believe it or not, there's always that one person that even if you gave negative feedback about, for example, you said, man, Kelvin sucks, Tampa's fine, it sucks. There's always going to be that one person that's going to be like, oh, he sucked. Let me see who that is. Yeah. yeah that's and they're going to come right. to the show. That's a negative right. yeah. you, you, Negative pressure. Right. That's a good one. Yeah. yeah. Right. Like I'm going to go and see who he's talking about. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see and who he's talking about. They want to smoke. About. They want to see what. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you're right. Did I leave that edge right? Who he's going to get. But you can't feed into it. No, no, no. Don't feed into it. Long story short, network in person. Go support other people. Be there in person and show that you actually care. You will not make That's like how me and you met. So, yo, so Demarcus, can I bring flyers and just leave it at your shop? So I, I'll tell you this. I, I still believe in flyers because, I like, for example, if I approach Sone and I, you know, I plant the seed, I tell him about the event. Mm -hmm. You know, if I give him that flyer, I feel like he has something to, to you know, if I if I didn't know, him, I feel like now he has something that he can hold on to, and hopefully bring him out. Now I don't go spend like a lot of money on flyers mm -hmm. because the thing about it is, especially with Winterfest, when we approach Lakeland, there's a lot of the car guys in Lakeland that don't have Facebooks. People completely disconnect from social media. But they have nice cars. They don't have Facebook in Lakeland? Well, not, not everybody in Lakeland. <laughs> <Joking, I'm joking. laughs> that Lakeland boy. Like, but, you know, <laughs> like, literally had a dope car, and, and it was just off of, like, or my photographer knew him because he shot, you know, the car. Yo, give him a flyer. And he came out. And I was like, wow. Like, you know? So yeah. I guess it is personal. Well, like it, you ain't, said. Yeah. it ain't nothing wrong with taking all still, your... Uh, you know, in my opinion, catapult. Yeah. But now 90% of the community is on the internet. Yeah, it could be a hit or miss. Yeah. Somebody can just scrape it off the dirt. Yeah. So, so real quick. And I remember we talked a little bit about this zone. Yeah. So an event with a lot of vendors or an event with, with like select vendors? A lot of vendors. A lot of vendors? Yes. So you want your competition right next to you? Doesn't matter. It's because you know what? If you're that great, you shouldn't have to worry about your... I love that answer. Solid answer. It's, Solid yeah. answer. So I'm going to put all the vinyl guys right next to each other. <laughs> Why would they... Be, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You better say That's going to be... <laughs> that's no, no, but be, be, good yeah, for real. Yeah. I mean, yeah. like, no, like, no, when I go events, I like, like to see all these vendors. The whole you know, block. The whole yeah. block. No, no, I respect that. But, you know, in some, in some defense, as a host, I still think it's important that you separate. You have to have variety because typically when I plan a fest, I look at, okay, this is the midway, right? When people walk in, what are the first two things they're going to see? Bomb, bomb. I'm not going to have two vinyl people right next to each other, you know? But to your point, if you have four vinyl vendors and your event is gauged to bring in the right crowd, 
yeah. that that shouldn't be you know shouldn't be an issue. Yeah, yeah. Personally, if I can afford it, I'd rather just have an event with a handful of vendors. Personally, I, I think if you, because you, I can tailor the quality a little better. Well, that also, but you could bring more. Like I said, a lot of people go. It gets. I'm not gonna lie to you. It gets boring when you only see like one or two vendors. Like okay, after you see the car, people want to talk to. Like when when I go, I want to see like new products. I want to see gotcha. different things. This and that. That's what people go for. You know what? Yeah. It it it's a difference between someone staying 30 minutes at a show or staying two hours. Yes. Off, walking around. They got more to look at. So, yeah. so, that's exactly. so that's one thing that yeah. makes you stay longer. Yes. What's another thing that you guys would say makes you stay? And I remember you, sir. This guy's like, yo, Ross, you should have low car limbo. I'm like, bruh. <laughs> bruh. You gotta keep the people. 2020? Insane. Low car yeah. limbo, they really? Said, you gotta keep the. Me personally, <laughs> I go to a show, I walk around, okay. talk to people, but yeah. you gotta keep the people entertained. Yeah? If not, it's just like, ah, right, it's a good I'm event. I go to a corner and knock out. It's just, it's something about the event that attracts people. What yeah. do you think Clean Culture just throws all them shows in it? <laughs> every time they just bang out. It's just, even though it's the same crap every time, mm -hmm. but people still show up. Nah, I mean, yo. You know? Nick, I, I get it. Yeah, you know, nah, I Nick's, get, nah, Nick's I know what your event is yeah. around, so okay. I know what you're in. But I, I was pulling your leg, and I totally respect it. Yeah. And the thing is, a lot of times with the events, it takes a lot to kind of keep it together. Oh yeah, Trust because me. when you tell people, guy hey, ruining. exactly, yeah. hey, we're gonna do burnouts yeah. over here. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. whole show's doing burnouts. <laughs> yeah. The guy in the in the spectator lot's yeah. doing burnouts. Yeah. Like, bro, what are you Let doing? Yo, the, Roscoe, the, the I was gonna say, but the thing that you do at your events that I like too, um, is like it's spaced out. Like you'll have kind of like some raffles in the beginning. I like a lot of stuff planned out, and then you have the breakdance competitions, yeah. and then you'll have yeah. another raffle from select vendors or something like yeah. that, and then towards the end, you say, okay, we're gonna give more stuff out, and yeah. then we're gonna do the trophies at this time. So a lot of shows don't tell people, hey, we're gonna do trophies at this time, and there's like a gap, yeah. and everyone just randomly leaves, because like, there's nothing going on for like two hours until yeah. trophies. Yeah. So you kind of keep you know what a couple help? things like- If you have there. like a, I don't like a, kind of like an announcement kind of thing, that you have kind of announcement, because a lot of times I go to the shows, Oh, yeah, you jump back on the mic yeah. at your event. You know the like mic, but lot. people forget. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't lie, though. If it's raining, you kind of have, okay, we got, we got the, the dance competition at two. It's right there, you know? Um, one of my cousins, her husband. I think that would help, too, one thing. One of my cousins, her husband, builds apps. So we were literally, I think this was last year, we were trying to build an app. Really? We were literally trying Artillery to build an app, app? That, like, that sends you a notification letting you know, hey, we're giving away stuff. Yeah, don't give it to us on the paper because it would be like we had a funeral. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so I figured like you, you got a notification, but, you know. Here's the timeline for the day. Yeah. Down. Or you can I, I always get, put a projector I think that might help. screen. That's a yeah. good idea. You know, yeah, yeah, that's a good one, too. It's just the ingenuity. I like the way you're giving out the trophies. Because everyone's on the phone anyway. You're taking pictures and you get an alert. Boom, 2 o'clock. Breakdance show. Like you go to a show, you don't know what time they're giving out yeah. the trophy. Oh, so, yeah, no, no, no. so, yo. Uh, I'm just saying in general. Right, no, right, right, hey. So, like, I guess the awesome car show, like he said, you know, entertain. Yeah. He said, like, what we do at Winterfest. Yeah. Um, Kelvin, what works for you? As to keeping the people entertained? Yeah. Bringing a bit of everything. First off, mm -hmm. your vehicles are very important. Mm -hmm. You're not bringing one. I'm not just bringing a bunch of JDM. Okay. I'm bringing a JDM. I'm bringing a truck, a van, a Jeep. A bike. He said van, bro. You got everybody there. Yo, I got everybody You got to see. You got to see. A bit of everything. Bad, Some classic. Oh, no, 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 no. Now we, we kind of dived in a little bit into the <laughs> models. You we got know? left out. It's all good. Yeah, now we have. Yeah, 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 it's all good, bro. It's all good. Now you guys. Now you guys. So a bit of every single type of vehicle so that you can bring different crowds. The models, believe it or not, believe it or not, you know, I know, that it brings people. So. Models is another thing, and obviously entertainment of some sort. Mm -hmm. You know, my wife and I at our shows, we like to go back and forth on the mic, joking around. Yeah. yeah. You know, beating each other up on the mic, but it works different for everybody. Right. Your shows, mm -hmm. I know with the with the break dancing and stuff yeah. like that, that brings a lot of right, attention. It's yeah. Different, yeah. different kind of people. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I know we're gonna wrap up very soon here, man. I just wanted to really talk about events. Um, we're getting ready to do summer vibes in May of next year. What do you have on the plate? What you got coming up? Uh, the Raymond James Stadium, Classic Kings 5, March 7th. Yeah, so no. we're actually going to have a show inside Yo, the How you Buck afford Stadium. that, bro? Oh, that's going to be. <laughs> Yo, you baller. <laughs> what are you saying? Yeah, yeah, look at the chain, dog. Uh, what are you saying, dog? I'll tell you, you know what? Full credit goes to my wife. Yeah, man. Two years she's been working to get this venue, and we finally got it, finally signed contracts. So now we're bringing something different to the plate. Not that the car scene ain't good, but we're just bringing another event. Can you smoke in there? So, so what do you think the car scene is missing? You said that, and that just like rang a bell. 
I if we could do something right now to like make Tampa better, what would you say that would be? And anybody can answer that. My personal opinion, unity between the car show hosts. I was about to say the same thing. Do like one massive Why don't you event. Like this guy. I don't huh? like him either. He you invited him. <laughs> you invited him. <laughs> yeah, you I say bring like everyone. Like if you bring like how you have your your crew and your team yeah. and you kind of like the that people that follow tight, your though. crowd. That would be tight. You got your events. Roscoe's got his events. That would be, events. Be, events. Be, events. be a good one. Yeah, too, like you bring everything right. together and do hey, one massive show like a year. Y'all gotta get it together, though. Right oh, he got the stadium, so he's straight, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yo, we can fit us all in the stadium, yeah, though. You guys said it, I'm broke now. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I might be a good. What do you think, so? I think we talk about this a lot. Though, though. What are you talking sure. about? Real quick, I wanna hear what, what OG has to say. OG. I, I was thinking about, I wanted to host an event, okay? But I want to do so, something mm-hmm. little. Yeah. What you want to do? Okay. I want to do a little oh, something different. Drive? Okay, so I can no, have actually, my life together before this come up. Make I sure want to try to get everybody in it, mm-hmm. doing it together. Yeah. But I want to bring some more YouTubers. I want to bring some East Coast, West Coast, Mid. Just have a big, to like a it. celebration. Network. Trying to kill yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And that's what I always tell you. Network is always, and that's the yeah. reason why we try to do every six months, every yearly, to take a cruise with the whole crew, and we visit shops. We visit customers and all that because it, it, it pulls the okay. shops back into the events now too. I'm going to take out a pay to ride with y'all when you start pulling the shops. Oh, yeah. You hit the shop, the shop's yeah. like, I'll come to the next event. Exactly. Yeah. Like that too. It does. It helps. And it's great talking Especially to these upcoming people. shops too. So like, well, not just that because I think um, like networking really works. Like that's why I always tell him yeah. he needs to go out more and talk to people this and that. And yeah. because people don't know you. Nah. They only read Yo, they don't even they don't even know I own ILDS. Media. I yeah, thought Slim owned ILDS. They don't know I feel like I Yo, the they thought, I thought that they thought Slim owned it. It's yeah. because I'm low key, bro. That's no, exactly what it is. I just thought you did shirts, bro. I just thought you did shirts. Yeah, because we went when we went out, when we actually went out, the shirt man, the shirt man. People were like, wow, we didn't even know you guys were like this. Yeah, I want to talk to you. So you know, it's crazy that you're on a different level, but I mean, not necessarily like measuring, but like he literally just went to New York, right? right? And the thing is, it's a regular. So like, do you guys feel it's essential like owning a shop? Because I know you don't want to say it, but you own a shop, bro. Yeah. But do you feel it's essential like going out to your customers, helping them with the installs? It's oh, pretty definitely. fun, I ain't gonna lie. It's yeah, fun. it is, it's it pretty is. Fun. Do they buy y'all food and take y'all out yeah, and all that? Yeah, it's pretty fun. Oh, it's different. That? Trust me, it's uh, <laughs> I think, you know. I, like you said, get into like with the customers. They, yeah. they talk about it and now other people get it and more people, it's just. Yeah. It's just like it's free marketing. Yeah. yeah, free marketing. Yeah. But it's, it's funny because when we go there, they're excited to see us, but we actually I'm more excited to see them because exactly. it was like, Whoa, I'm you know, more happy to see like, the cars. Yeah, and, exactly. And when so, you see them with your parts, you're like, oh, I did that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. And then That's you awesome. build, you build more than just a customer base. It's like almost like family. Now they, it's easier for them to like call you and ask you questions, and yeah. that, oh, yeah. which, which I'm grateful for because yeah. we could answer anything. Like if anything, that, that like, avoids a return. Yeah. Exactly. You yeah. know, yeah. that exactly. definitely helps a return. Yeah. So, did any of y'all have any questions for me? Okay. Why did you right. start? I love driving slow. Correct. Um, honestly, man, and I've said this before um, on YouTube, um, it literally was like a like an oxymoron. A lot of my friends had faster cars. They had SIs. I had an R18. And they were always like behind the pack. But I was always ahead of the pack when I drive. Because I try to drive defensively. I don't like being boxed in. So if you ever see me on the road, I'm like, way ahead of everybody. I so I literally drive. I typically drive fast. New shirt. But that's really a single carry. The size. fact, exactly. <laughs> but I mean, it, it, the thing about driving slow has nothing to do with how fast your car is. And you see, when you understand that, it's like some like some weird like mystery. I think it's a good start. Stuff. You gotta think about. You know what I'm saying? Catchy it's because you see you, you see a car and you're like, man, this guy has an R8. I love driving slow. No way. You know what I'm saying? And then back in the day, what we used to do, we used to like set up races like that. Someone will see your car with the play frame, like, oh, this piece, you know, try to go around you, and then you hold them. You know what's the but, crazy part? I <laughs> saw your tag in New York, too, that I wow. love driving slow. That's crazy. See? That's crazy. <laughs> the game chills right there. But, over, but over time, well, over time, you know, I got older. I worked at an insurance company, and I learned that when I go out to the causeway, if someone hits my car, that's an expense I have to take on, right? You can't call the cops. You can't do an insurance claim. So at that point, I was like, yo, man, like, this ain't it. And then my first time going to the track was an event by JDM Ups. I don't know if any of y'all know. I remember them. Yeah. yeah. And that was my first time going down the track, and I had so much fun, bro. That was way better than the. Did you go fast down the track? Bro, I did. I think my fastest time was 16.4, which in that car was was not bad. Moving. On a a 1.8 with uh, intake, like literally intake header and exhaust, dead ass. And (laughs) and you know what I'm saying? Like so, that's where the brand really nurtured. The events was just the the icing on the cake. I love 
doing events. I love bringing people together. Yeah. I, as y'all can tell, like I brought y'all to my dinner table. All right. You know what I'm saying? This is my house. You know? <laughs> Pre-birthday bash. Uh, so you know that's yeah. that's just my personality yeah. pours out. My, my personality, in my opinion, pours out with the events. That's yeah. why I like doing it. Have you ever? Because I know me cutting your hair, bro. Yeah. I've heard you talk about things about like. Mm -hmm. uh, your conflicts between mm -hmm. I love driving slow uh -huh. and people coming and wanting to drive fast. Um, has, yes. Has that ever made you want to change your name? Or no. Ever made you think about like another route or something like that? No, because if I walk in here with an I love driving slow hoodie on, more people that are not into cars will now all of a sudden react to it. And now they're into cars. Now you're a car person. Now we're talking about what type of car you got. Oh, I got a Prius, but I don't drive slow. Bro, your car is slow. Stop. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Stop the madness. That, that's, that conversation actually happened. Right. You know, the guy didn't even know what I drove. My car is not that fast, but come on, dog. Prius. You drive it slow, though. Right. You know what I'm saying? I got cut off. I'll my say that actually like, happened. Yeah, I went to dinner. I, yeah, I went to dinner, yeah, and I had my car, and it's like a... Yeah. It was like near a retirement area, yeah, and yeah. it was an older couple. They walked by, they're like, man, wh where'd you get that plate? I love that plate. It's like, it doesn't fit the car, but I like yeah. it. And that, it sparked the whole combo. And I, I gave the dude the website. I don't know if you got, I don't know if you hey, got man, the order for I it, but I gave him the city. He's like, I'm going to get one of these for my brother. But he literally said, he's like, that's crazy. He's like, you really drive slow? I was like, sometimes. Yeah. He's like, I agree. <laughs> but, but yo, that's when the thing. But it was just the plate. He didn't say like nothing that. about the car. It was just the plate. Just the like, like, slow. People want to hear that it's about stance. People want to hear about it's about lowered cars. And you know, we all have different phases of cars. Like I asked Stone if he had, ever had a stance car, and Stone said he had stance cars before us. And I'm like, what? Way before. I can only imagine. You know? What type of car? Was it a Honda? I'm going to tell you. Yeah. Back in those days, it wasn't called stance. It was called lowriders. That's what we had. Okay. That's a different game. That's a different game. That's a whole different game. Because I'm going to tell you what it is. What changed was the wheels and all that. Everything was stanced out like this and all that. Okay. If you look back in the... Was it front of the lip, though? Josh, please let him know if he's not friendly to live in. I don't know nothing about that. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. like I said, like you guys were talking about earlier, yeah. all these like low riders. People low. say, oh, I'm doing something new, this and that. Now it's yeah. been done. Yeah, it's, it's, bro. Bro. it's like style. Like it gets yeah. recycled oh, yes. with yeah. a light yeah. twist. Question. So, Josh, I should ask you this question. So, static or bad, bro? Static all day. Have you ever had a bad car? Yes. Okay. You seen the Lexus? You were there. I didn't see you it. remember? So tell me what happened. It lasted two and a half weeks, and I took everything out. Bro, right back to you took the bag. Yo, yeah. We need to introduce him to the game. That. Yeah. I had, not Yo. that game. No, no, not not, not that. I have, no, one of my friends gave uh, Poppy Fly. He does like. I know that name. Exactly. Yo, yeah. he'll take care of you. But I know you're I don't not know, static. Stat I've been on it because so I was static before. Got bags. It rode different, it felt different on the corners. Mm -hmm. It just handled different, and then I had that leak that they couldn't figure out. Okay. So after like three weeks of dealing with the leak, I'm like, all right, I'm out. Went back to static. Yeah. The only thing I go through now is front lips. That's it. I'm cool with this that. This guy has like, yo, dude, man, anyways. He's, got he's gone right now, yeah. Yo, the, the so, mini hurricane is gone. So that, that leads me to ask this question, and I think we're gonna wrap it up. Like I said, five minutes ago, 10 minutes ago. Um, so, and I guess I gotta ask you this. So there was like the stigma that if you had someone else work on your car, you're not a car guy. You're not an enthusiast if, if you didn't build the motor yourself or- That had to be a meme with something. Yeah, that's, yeah that, that was that's definitely not true. <laughs> you know, yeah, that's so, so you, that's not true. So that's okay. Um, it's okay because you know why- Because you got me in the garage all sweating and stuff, trying to put the K-series in. To, you know? <laughs> he said, no, you're building yours though. That's <laughs> because I want you to hands <laughs> on. <laughs> 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 I tried to oh, understand you know what? what? Just, to, just to fit in with the, Yo, where did we all between, start it from? Between Sone and this guy, this guy did the harness for me, the um, engine harness. Yeah. I, yo, I'm sending you guys pictures, videos. Uh, yeah. Like, bro, I'm trying to figure this shit out. Like, help. But I, I think that's big, man. I feel like a lot of the younger guys get hated on because they're buying newer cars and a lot of the mods are off the shelf. They're not doing anything. Like, that's not a build. I hate hearing that. It's, it's I, true I really because you know what? That. We all had to start from somewhere. Exactly. So like we all been there, and then we just we we don't think back of where we started. Mm -hmm. It's always oh you know what like it's progression. Exactly because I, when I was growing, I didn't even know. I was like you know paying people to do this, paying people yeah. to do that. And I was like you know what? Until okay, I can figure, figure it out. Then I start doing it. Yeah, you, know. you, you sometimes talk shop fields are even better yeah. quality, yeah. believe it or not. Yeah. yeah, you know, but. And this guy literally teaches me lessons every time I go to his shop. He like, there's stuff he can actually build, and I go there. I'm like, yo, son, I'll pay you to build this. And he's like, bro, yeah. I like, there This guy out. makes <laughs> brackets for for batteries. Like, just go buy it from him. Yeah. You know, <laughs> like that's how it's that's how I think it should be, because that just keeps the car world going around. Yeah. You know, Support and I local. I typically hate saying car scene. I say car world because car world. I think the, the inspiration doesn't come from just Tampa. 
But, I mean, tonight, I just definitely wanted to bring you guys closer to some of my friends. I did say we were going to talk about raffles, which right now, I think in the car community, you're not selling anything anymore. Like, you're going to raffle your wheels. Like, you're going to raffle your car probably. And, and is everything okay with that? You guys feel like that's all right thing? I feel it gives more people a better chance of actually getting it rather than someone that just has the money to pay. Say you build a, a certain car that it ends up being worth more because you put a lot of work into it. Yeah. You're giving other people that don't have enough money to say, I'm gonna buy that car plus put 10 grand over to make sure I actually secure that purchase. Gotcha. You're giving other rent, like just regular people the chance to be like, you know what? I buy two shirts, I get 20 tickets, yes. it's worth the shot. I've seen some people win off buying one t-shirt yep. on some of those raffles versus someone spending five grand buying a bunch of shirts hoping to win. It's, you sell it's a lottery. You sell stuff like that for people to raffle? So, so, so Debbie. Yeah. I get them from him. Davey. I gotcha. get the shirts from Davey. Roscoe. Gotcha. And I call you Davey, Debbie, I apologize, Debbie. Davey. Um, you've been doing, is it once a week, once a month now? I do it. Like, it's people, man. People just want raffles. It's crazy. And I think it just started happening around, around the coronavirus, coronavirus. stuff. Yes. Just cause, like, I don't know if people just, I don't know how it happened, but it, it spiked up, man. It's the, been crazy. Everybody's doing raffles, mm -hmm. cars, wheels, yeah. I mean, you name it. Oh, we drive. Everybody's yeah. doing it. I don't know yeah. what happened. So I literally have no explanation of how it happened, but it's just happening well, for everybody. Now me, it, it makes me question, like, is the quality still there? Oh, the quality is A1. That has to be, it doesn't gonna change. Just because you pay 25 bucks doesn't mean the quality is gonna drop. Yeah, okay, the product's yeah. still gonna yeah. be the same at the yeah, end of the, the, at the end of day. Product. Just like so I said, like, I'm I thinking like I raffled my car after I ragged it out. Like, But that's gonna come back on you. It could come back to you. you bro, you paid a hundred dollar no, ticket, bro. Like, not. are you mad? Yeah, yeah but the quality is supposed to, car, bro. Yeah, let's say that that's supposed to be a two thousand dollar item. Yeah. Why am I getting a hundred dollar item? Got gotcha. you. You know, gotcha. it gotcha. can't gotcha. be like that. I got you. Yeah. So I guess I guess no, we're gonna please. be doing raffles. Yeah, that's what's here, right? That's raffle, let's fun, do it. bro. I'm down. <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> um, other than that, man, um, we're just gonna go ahead and get everyone to give out their socials. I'm gonna wrap this up. Um, I definitely appreciate everybody watching. Like, subscribe, share. If you like this concept. I, I want to do more of these with some other friends in other parts of Florida, um, and this is just Tampa. This is just a start. This is Tampa. This is where I'm. This is where I live. This is where we're from, and this is what we got to offer right now. There's a lot of other people in Tampa. Don't get it twisted, but these are some of my close friends that I talk to at least once every couple, of, you know, days, uh, months in this case. I don't like this guy. Um, so let's go. Right, I don't care. If you want to shout well, out your social media, left right there. Right, left. Shout out, left. Left. Shout out your social media. So uh, Josh, um, one of them is Fresh and Dirty underscore J. It's a lot of photography, mixed photography, a lot of hype, streetwear, um, more fashion, but also street scene too. And then I also have my own car detail line. It's shop-fnd. Um, it's dot com or at shop-fnd. Um, ceramic coating, ceramic safe soap, stuff like that. Yeah, I'm um, gonna be your competition soon. I'm saying I heard. Yep. Glad I helped you out on that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, my name is Aleko. Uh, Leco Photography, that's how everyone knows me. Uh, I do shoot cars, women, women in cars together. Mainly anything really. I'm starting to get into sneakers like him. Oh yeah, trying sneaker to get plug. into the it's hype. Like sneaker yeah, plug. sneaker plug. Yeah. Yo, but, I know, you know this is not a shout out for your work, but like, can you tell us about like some of the badass cars like that comes with what you do? There's a lot of cars. Um, this is your car guy. If you want a supercar or anything close to that, this is your guy. Well, my normal day job. Is, <laughs> is working at more import motor cars, Reeves Import Motor Cars. I have to show them love. They've, they've sponsored us before. Great company. And, yep. uh, you know, yeah, we always we, we miss your events. You need right. a, They're coming back. I can't wait for them to come They're back. They're coming back. But yeah, we build a lot of cars, uh, mainly European cars from Porsches, BMWs, Audis. We tune them, wheels, suspension, roll cages, track setups everything so and then i get to shoot a lot of the cool cars we also host the gathering which is like a cars and yo coffee. you gotta check that out the first saturday of every month so definitely yeah. a good look get there early yes, yes early early seven and nine up, I, I got the og right I'm here gonna make it though i gotta make so, it so on with uh s1 built so it's just s1 built um we built all-way drive system uh for honda so what we're working on right now is just basically we're going down the the line of different chassis and all that. So D we, K, no, sorry, D B. No, D no, H, no, 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 no. I'm going yeah, there. Yeah, I'm yeah, going there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going there. 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 I'm going
<laughs> yes, yo, check out their YouTube. Yeah. They're crushing so, it. So as far as YouTube, we're trying to, um, you know, spread the, you know, how, to how easy it is to do the all-wheel drive system because people are thinking that it's costing twenty, thirty thousand dollars like it did two, three years ago. It, it's nothing near that price. So we're trying to keep costs down for everybody so everybody can enjoy and all that. For yeah. real gripping. Yeah. I'm gonna bring the M over there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They have yeah. definitely made it easy now to go with drive. Y'all yeah. right. already know who I am. Tampa's finest. Uh, What's your name? Kelvin. Oh. Hi, Kelvin. Hi, Kelvin. Kelvin. Hi, Kelvin. Kelvin from Tampa's <laughs> finest. Uh, Tampa's underscore finest on Instagram. Tampa's finest events on Facebook. We bring events in the mm -hmm. automotive community. Like your boy. He's Ross my competitor. Right? That's my competitor. That's my competitor. They say keep your competitors close. Uh, oh, yeah, they do. They, that was my, <laughs> that was my shoulder, inspiration bro. here. Yeah. Look, now we're sitting next to each other. Uh, Tampa, don't make me blush, bro. Tampa, we don't hate each other. You yeah, can blush? Yeah, we don't. We should it. I ain't blushing we a long do. time. You can blush. So, <laughs> on that note, Davey. What's up, guys? I'm Davey. Uh, I own DC Pack Creations. It's Davey. I specify on AC Tuckets and a lot of um, big brake kits. Uh, pretty much modify them to fit the Hondas and Acros further than the newer cars just so they can be like a plug and play kit. Uh, a lot of the kids before, you had to do a lot of modifications to get them fit. And now we have modified them to just be a plug and play kit. And pretty much just focus on tuck items that clean up the engine bay, keep all the gutter out, like just to help everybody make the stuff easier. Like they have done, make the all wheel drive just plug and play kind of a kit. Oh. So, end of the day, we're just trying to help and yeah. make the job easy for everybody. Pass it on. Well, when y'all get done working on your car, y'all can come and get y'all hat cut by me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep you clean yeah. at Doug's Barbershop. Yeah. You know, uh, i just been in the car community for a long time, and I'm thankful for... I met him at the street races. Right. I'm thankful for these type of people who can um, help me just bring my dream come true. And whatever I want to do, you know, I'm just happy to know these all these type of people and they from my area too. So, uh, Freeway Savage, F R E W A Y S V G on Instagram. Uh, I got a, I got a uh, YouTube. Badass van. Right. I got a minivan yeah. too. Oh, all wheel drive. Uh, we got the K series. We're trying to go all wheel drive. It's all wheel drive, y'all. He's right. lying. Right. We're working on it. You know what I'm saying? But um, <laughs> that's it, man. Uh, Doug's Barbershop Tampa, Freeway Savage, Instagram. Uh, I got a YouTube, Doug's Garage. I'll be working on anything, no matter what it is. And I'm just thankful to be here, bro. That's it. Yeah, yeah man. So, hey, man, I, I appreciate you guys coming out. My birthday's tomorrow. Uh, Happy early this birthday. This is how I'm bringing Happy it birthday, in. Ross. Happy so, birthday, Ross. Thanks. Woo. Appreciate you. You know, but for real, we, I really, really appreciate, you know, I guess we all do uh, for you to do this kind of stuff because this is what I always envision with Tampa and with just a car community also and uh trying to bring you know more people together and uh it seems like sometimes i get shot down sometimes you know but i'm glad yeah. you, you're you're doing that's it that's from us for your you car know. bro so you can put your, your car home so you got to tape you got to tape it to your shirt yeah. 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 Yo, your they're car. starting to eat up they're starting to eat up fun it's not like a fitting or something bro your fittings are your cash out info yeah, yeah, cash out. Cash out. I, I, forgot what it is. I honestly forgot what it is. I think it's. I'll Island give him mine. Put the cash out down below. I, yeah, I'll give him yeah, mine. I guess we'll put it below. <laughs> put it right there. <laughs> I, I, I don't think. I don't think it's money for the EF. I think it's time. And it's like you know, I've learned a lot from this guy. He's like, yo, if you do a little bit, as long as you get progress, that's all that matters. That's it, yeah. And it's like you know, I juggle a print shop, you know, the brands, a lot of things, and I try to do it like you said, a little bit, and I was able to get it started last month. So that's yeah. progress. Like you can put yeah. some cash in that yeah. joke, though. Yeah. Put some 93 in that yes. joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, I do got to get the 85. I'll mess with the 87, though. Yeah. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> All right, man. I appreciate you guys. Um, go follow all these guys. I'm going to make sure to post it on the, the bottom of the video. And um, if you guys need anything from any of these guys, uh, reach out to them or reach out to me. I'll get you a hold of any of these guys. Yeah. All wheel drive stuff. PlayStation 5s. This guy right here. He's hosting a raffle. Um, <laughs> this guy right here. <laughs> yo, this guy has some ill jewel headlights. Check this guy out. Uh, for like Acuras and Honda, right? Yeah. I'm selling all wheel drive stuff too. This Just hit me up. I got it. 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 I